addicted to Good morning, YouTube. So, push day and Q and A. Nice little rhyme there. Um, the usual starts the mornings. Coffee, work, then pre-workout meal, then the train. Good train a little bit later today because it's Friday, and Friday's the uh, fucking boys' day at the gym. So, hopefully, we'll be lively. There's been a couple of times it's been just empty for no reason. I'm like, where the fuck? This is supposed to be boys' night, but. Alas, we will crack on with that. So, usual routine. Gonna crack on some work now. So, time lapse. Three, two, one. Okay, so had breakfast a little while ago, had my little chill time, got a shower now, and then uh, we'll show you the gym fit. Gym fit's pain today. I got a uh, pen? Peng today. I got a, uh, I got a new gas item, which is gonna be the centerpiece of my uh, my fit today, which arrived literally a couple hours ago, some gas for that. Um, so let's shower and I'll show you the fucking fit, and then we'll have some food, and then fucking gym time. Okay, so as we know, I don't go out anymore. Living this bodybuilding life, I'm stuck with no, no raves, no socializing, just the gym. So it's about time I think I start putting some serious effort into the fit so I can feel a bit better about myself. Because when you're dieting, it's always good to like, just try and keep up the standards. Because obviously as much as you're trying to get like this sh shredded, Obviously, it's good to feel good and like look nice as you get deeper into prep when you're just feeling a bit more like shit. So like dressing nicely, getting yourself a trim, just keeping yourself looking good can be a good thing to like help spur you on and help keep you going. So, start off with bottoms, gasp, trousers, tracky bottoms, whatever the fuck you want to call them, oversized of course. That's like just the standard procedure. I've literally got fucking two pairs of these because I wear these so much. Um, they're some of my favorites, just it just says gasp down the side of the leg. So with these bad boys on, so if anyone wondering, so I wear XL in my gasp bottoms. Um, and like the oversized stuff at least. I haven't worn anything else so far, not had to get XL. So yeah, and I'm so I'm six foot one and I'm well right now I'm about it will my 179.2 pounds this morning, as you've seen, which is like 81 something kilos or 81 kilos, something like that. So, bottoms, then because it's push day and I'm starting to get leaner, we've got a tank top. So, this is like an old camo Gymshark tank I've had for a while. Um, I need to update my uh, my tanks now that I'm getting lean again. Um, just because I'm not a big fan. I mean, this one's right, but I want to get some new ones because obviously I said, I want to feel good. I want to spend some money so I can just, just well, bar, like bathe myself in fucking, what's the word, dopamine so that I don't feel so fucking bad about losing all my strength and uh, yeah. So, skadoosh, obviously got the dog tags. If you haven't seen these before, I can't remember if I've shown these to you before. Um, literally says, so it's gonna be backwards. So, ha ha! Says my name, Joshua Malahul, sick cunt. So, in case you find my body, you know I'm a sick cunt. Then, we're gonna go for VQ, white oversized T over the top as like the uh, level one pump cover. Everyone knows the best, like, especially like you think it's more, more or less during summer, the, like the way you gotta do your fits is you gotta have the, the T, like, like the stringer, or like the fitted shirt, or this like tank, whatever you're gonna fucking have as your base layer, that's gonna be when you're at peak pump. Then you're gonna have the initial the initial pump cover to that. So it's a white VQ core T key shirt core key like aspects to what make a good oversized T. High collar, good length and good arm length as well. This needs to come down to the elbow. If it's too high, it makes your arm look skinny because obviously like if you've got small joints like me. 
then obviously it's going to make your arms look small versus if it come down here when you've got chunky forearms makes the rest of your arms look bigger so yeah so that's kind of like the base fit and then my new purchase we've got ourselves gasp flannel got this in an XL um, it's a good size for now I reckon when I come back out and back into off season again I'm going to need to start obviously shopping bigger as I get massive being enhanced but um, yeah for now my inner Canadian and like my lumberjack heritage is flying through me when I wear this. I just, this is just fucking paying me, all right? So pop this on. What's nice is like you can have it done up or undone. Probably rock up to the gym with it done up and then I'll undo it obviously as I get a bit warmer and then obviously the layers start to come off. So that is the fucking fit, mate. So this is said this was an XL. Probably could potentially go up to a double XL next time because it's oversized, but it's not like massively oversized. Um, and the arm length is like just long enough. But yeah, look at fucking look how nice this is. Like the little little details. And then obviously we'll get the chain out so it also looks even more sex rooney. Look at this, boys and girls. The fucking pure sex appeal of me right now to myself. So yeah, so that's gonna be like the fit today. Hope you like it. If you're liking these little like little gym fits, I might keep doing these. Um, and I'll do is I'll try and do is I'll try and do like a new like new item like once a month. Um, so then like obviously spice the fits up so obviously they're not the same. But yeah, this is gonna be the fit as I said. And uh, yeah, let's go and make meal number one. As the sun's coming out, very nice. Oh, fucking wet this morning though. I'll tell you that for free. So, we are now uh, in the gym. I hope you can hear me, I hope you can. I'm just about to shut some music, otherwise I will just subtitle this. So uh, yeah, I've got push two today. Um, main movement being playing my dumbbell press and loading my Smith. Um, I don't know if I've, I think I've kind of briefly shown this in the video before, like on the channel today. Uh, but I do warm up before all my sessions. Um, this band will work on like, the leg routine I do for legs has been something I've been doing literally since day one of gym. Um, this is something that's helped me keep like, good mobility, my hips, my shoulders, my elbows, and it's kept me pretty much injury free touch wood so far. Like, I literally only had really like, one injury and that was playing American football when I, was, when I, was, I, like, I broke my finger. So. But like, half from that, everything else is pretty fucking good. And obviously as the bigger as I get, obviously the mobility is going to get shit. And the best way to counteract that is just stay mobile from the get go. Stop, that's when you get stiff. And obviously as you get bigger and also like, obviously as your range of motion diminishes, that's when you can be So, just someone we keep doing literally every single workout for the rest of my fucking life. So, we're going to crack on this now and then we're going to do Chest supported tough laurels. And uh, yeah, hopefully it will uh, go well. jump on this is like quite heavy for like lateral delts um, especially like with the weak range in terms of being like further down the arm so we're going to do two sets with like a bigger rep range so that way when a big jump of like weight being only one pin it will then delve to like translate and make me still stay in rep range and not be like doing really really low rep ranges or really really high rep ranges so yeah so
so that was the cuff laterals done. Um, took some good reps in there. And now we're gonna move on to incline, well, high incline number press, so basically like a shoulder press, um, but on a slightly better angle for the shoulders. Um, so yeah, um, three working, well, three warm ups. So the way I do my warm up with my dumbbells, I'll do 20 kilos below my working weight. So for example, today I'm doing 42 and a half. So I'll do is I'll start basically then with 22 and a half. I'll then do eight reps of 22, bump up five kilos, drop down two reps. So that'll be 27 to six, 30 to four, uh, no, 32 to four, 37s for two, and then top set. So that's basically what we're gonna do now. I've just done my first two warm sets, gonna do my third one now, and then uh, we'll see what happens. Right, so Incline Dumbo went pretty happy. Um, the first couple, like the first few reps of our reads, like you probably see I struggled to kind of get into the groove, but then I finally landed perfectly that set, which then allowed me then to get one more rep, um, which is ideal. Perfect spot from Ty, literally just, just let me grind it out. Um, if you can have consistent spots, consistent spots are always going to be better just because then they know when to jump in, they know when not to, they know what failure for you looks like. Um, so yeah, that's one of the reasons also I've become, I tried to become accustomed to all the boys is like, way they lift so that way I can spot them the best way. Cause not everyone, funny enough, like <laughs> not everyone needs the same spot. Like some people want to grind, like they want less help, some people want more help, vice versa. Some people want no help. So it's always good to make sure you ask some before you spot them. How do you want to spot them? Even for a lift up, but like how do you want to be left up? Cause obviously like you know that you want to give them the, the best set they can, they can have. Not necessarily what you think is the best set they can have, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, anyway, moving on now to Low Incline Smith. I'm um, gonna take 110 for a spin. So they've been feeling pretty good to be fair. Like I took a I took a rep up on the uh, on the my well, back off, so that was ideal. Um, and then yeah, yeah, so we'll see what we can get on this fucking this bad boy. Yeah. Four, yeah. Come on, five, up. Come on, keep going. Up, come on. Six, six, yeah. Come on, you got this. Yeah, drive, up. Come on, come on, come on. Three, two, one. Top back off, fuck it out. Why is it 
it's so dark. So top and back off were too bad. Um, I would say like a plus one down. Or how do I how do I score? I, I took a rep down, but I didn't. It makes sense. So I got seven last time my top, and I got six one today. And then I got eleven last time, I got ten one today. Both sets to start, like I'm like fuck yeah, I'm gonna progress. So I'm, gonna, I'm definitely gonna match. And then just the fucking engine dies. Um, where he just won a result, dies, give it to that. That fucking Smith is something else. Um, if, you, if you've used that Smith, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, he just, he just dies out of nowhere. Um, nevertheless, gonna move on now. Still feel positive about it, still good sets. Um, gonna move on to Crucifix laterals now. Three sets with a drop set at the end. Get those delts are all fucking pumpy wumpied. And then uh, we shall to arms, which is side legs tricep extension, and we're going to do the long row bed extension, and then tonight I'll do the when we get back to I'll do the rest of the well, I'll do the do the Q and A. So yeah, let's uh, let's crack on with top down.
good set of tricep extensions. Start the tricep extensions done. We're gonna move on now to some long rope overhead extensions, finish off this arm workout, and then we're gonna run through a full round of posing, eat, and then we'll head on home. So let's crack on with, let's crack on with that set. to you from the following day. I kind of ran out of time because I had to meal prep and then um, go to sleep because I had to be up early this morning to come and be on shift here. So I thought I would just do the Q&A the following day instead of rushing it and also then not getting any sleep. So yeah. So question one, how are you doing mentally? So right now I'm not too bad to be fair. Um, bodybuilding has given me so much focus and so much like drive and just discipline right now that I'm kind of just like just basically just taking it every day as it comes with every day being so similar it's kind of hard to have like almost um, emo emotional variance um, just because I'm not like putting myself in situations where I'm like almost exposed to like like 
social situations which might spark that, for example. I think that's like the best way to say it. Um, so generally, I'm pretty happy. Um, like, obviously, like when you're as driven and ambitious as someone like myself, like you're always gonna have that feeling of never being quite satisfied. So um, I'd say, like, generally, yeah, I'm doing pretty well, um, and I'm very excited for the future. Um, when I say I still deal with anxiety on a day-to-day -day basis, not as much as I did. Um, I think my anxiety has come right down, um, which has been kind of a nice relief. Um, and like, I haven't had any like depression spells for a very, very long time, so... All good, thank you for asking. Most memorable moment in life. Now, this is something that I cannot choose. Um, I've been blessed enough to have a very, very memorable life. Um, I've done so much stuff, and just like bits and bobs. Like I've traveled all over the world. I've met amazing people. I've had amazing experiences. Like being in festivals, with my friends. I've been like on amazing holidays with my family. And like, there's just so much for me just like to be grateful for. So I can't really say that there's one thing that's the most memorable. Um, it'd be like I'd be lying if I said that that one thing was the most memorable because there's just been a lot of things um, so yeah uh, what's your favourite book? my long book I don't have any other books to read really um, the weirdest page you've ever gone to the bathroom um, I, I, I honestly I'm very very bored when it comes to that like I'd say the most euphoric scenic place was uh I uh, went on a holiday with my family uh, to uh, basically this like completely uncharted area of Oman. Um, my uh, my parents had friends who like one of them was a uh, geologist and he kind of like was like studying the area and he found this little spot where like there was like completely uninhabited for miles and it's just on the ocean. It was fucking like it was really really nice. Um, I'll see. I'll throw up a picture if I've got any pictures from that here. Um, but no, um, uh, that was quite euphoric, like pissing and looking into the like to the ocean with like just absolutely nothing around. So that's probably the weirdest place. But um, it honestly was weird. It was just pretty cool. Um, apart from that, I'm pretty shy peer. Like, so <laughs> I usually just stick to toilets. Do you have, I have a dog? I've got two lovely little dogs, Chester and Coco. They're my pride and joy. They give me happiness on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and uh, yeah. Shout out to them dogs. Next question, do you love your life? I've kind of already answered that. Um, I definitely have to say I'm very, very grateful and fortunate to be in the position I'm in. Um, I live at home with my parents, who are very, very supportive. Um, obviously, what's nice about where I am now as well is I literally have like my own place at home, which is literally like a mini apartment. Um, literally has everything minus the kitchen, which I get to use, um, obviously like in the main house, so obviously, all fucking, uh, all fucking good. I've got a car, I've got a job, I get by. Am I thriving and am I as high as I want to be, as I said? No, but I will get there with a good time. As long as people like you keep watching the videos and supporting me, I'll be able to live my best life. And then the next one's my favorite hobby. Um, I'll probably say DJing. Um, obviously you kind of already know if you've seen it in the past. Yeah, I think my, my uh, my biggest hobby is is like music. I'd say uh, music's kind of like music and gym are like my two passions, which basically keep me alive on this world, on this fucking planet. Um, if it wasn't for those two things, I definitely wouldn't be here. I have to say, um, in all seriousness, um, music's been with me longer than gym has. So, uh, like music was kind of my first um, like escape, and then gym's kind of been my second. And then just so happens they kind of like they kind of work together anyway. So yeah. Do you think you've made the necessary changes to move the classic? So, um, I'm definitely on my way. Um, with how my physique's looking now, as you would have seen with that, sh like, uh, that honest check-in, um, full legs, everything, um, I'm definitely in a lot better position than I thought I was gonna be, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so for now, I'm gonna say I'm not doing classic for now, um, but there's, you know, I have to see maybe like 10 weeks out if I'm still looking really good, maybe a chance to hop in a show, uh, like, uh, yeah, and then just do that. Um, but I'm not going to compromise my men's physique, um, junior title, but like 
what be like race. Like I don't, I'm not going to take it. Like I'm not going to give anything up to that way. Take away from that. And the main goal is still going to be that junior British title. Um, so yeah, uh, long term goals and life, like long term goals, bodybuilding and life, etc. So uh, I want to get my pro card. I want to win a pro show. Um, those are kind of that's kind of like my my biggest aspirations for for, for bodybuilding. Um, do I think I've got the potential to win Olympia? Um, just right now, I'm not gonna say I'm not I'm not gonna say yes to that because I don't think I'm I'm there yet. And like if I compare myself to some of the people I know genetically, um, they are far superior to me. And um, so it's kind of hard for me to say whether I am at now if I have a chance of that. And I don't think I do right now. Do I think I could potentially win a pro show and qualify for Olympia? Yes. Um, I think that would be a flat for me. That would be just as good as winning Olympia if 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 not winning Olympia is an option. Um, that'd be like a massive, massive achievement for me. Um, and then life goals, um, kind of like I wanna, what are like some like long term goals? Um, I wanna be obviously like financially free. I wanna be fully online coaching. Um, I wanna be able to like do what I wanna do on a daily basis, which I kind of do already, but I want a bit more freedom. Um, I want to be able to be able to, be able to, be able to I want to be able to like go on a short holiday if I want to. I want to be able to travel if I want to. I want to be able to go see friends and family if I want to. Like um, I've said that my, my end goal is always going to be like retire and, and retire and move to Canada uh, from everything. But I would also like the ability to fly to Canada and see my family more often. Um, just so I'm very close to my family out there. And uh, yeah. Apart from that, I'm not like I'm a super materialistic person. I can't really say there's any particular items I want. I just want the ability to like, if I want something, I want something. But like, I'm not a super materialistic person, so I don't really spend money even now, even if I did have it. So, <sighs> oh, Christ, I'm tired. Um, so yeah. All right. Well, that uh, that wraps up all the questions. We had a few more others, but they're kind of shit, so I'm not going to answer them. Apologies if those were your questions. Ask better fun questions. Anyway, on that note, like, share with fellow cunt, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I will catch you guys in the next video, which might be with a special guest. I don't know yet, but you'll find out next.